I hear trying to catch on fire. <laughs> Full of water. It sure mm -hmm. did. And the engine. It sucked it in. It blew the damn thing up. Well, your day just got worse. No. There's like five trees on the road up there. Super. Yeah. So anyway, we're on day two. We're on day two of our watermark. high watermark trail route. We cut in about a day and a half early of when you're supposed to start the route. But if you're coming from Missouri or that area, um, you do a lot of backtracking if you don't cut in this way. So we didn't want to do that. We got right on when it was most convenient and started wheeling. And uh, We've had two brutally cold. Actually, I'll take that back. The first night was brutally cold. We had snow, sleet, ice. It was cold. We had to set up camp. Night two really wasn't that bad, I didn't think. I, mean, I feel it like, like both nights were fine by the fire, but yeah. if you walk like six feet away from the fire, then it's awful. Yeah. But then you get back and it's okay. And both times we got on wood lines. Uh, last night we were on a hilltop, which made it more windy, but we all tucked into the wood line. We tucked our fire into the wood line, so we stayed out of the wind. Yeah. But uh, we're out on the trail. We're gonna try to close our route out. And if you guys know me, I don't like turning around and I don't like stopping something I've started. So we're gonna try to push through this thing and get it done. Crisp leaves, pine trees, cold, brisk air. I was just telling Jamie, I, I wish I could smell the leaves and the pine trees, <laughs> but I can't smell anything. Lake. You're gonna drag your bumper pretty good down here. Just giving you a forewarning. This little creek. Yeah. That's why I tried to take it at sort of an angle so that those would hit and not just the bumper itself. Yeah, it's definitely the best, hitting them at an angle. Oh, here's another one. You better get some speed at this, this uh, second little mud hole right here. <laughs> yeah, I, you might get stuck if you don't, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. 
Now, Jimmy and I have already been to this place. Now, you want to talk about awesome. Look at this. The thing about it out here is this high watermark trail has got waterfalls all up and down it but there is beauty all along this route so even if you're not just in it for the crazy hard technical trails you've got beautiful scenery on every single turn and just take in the beauty i'll get a picture i'll take it from here The Hartman family awake. <laughs> the back way. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow. Holy <laughs> baby. Now step over here. Uh, uh, that's oh. it. Get her done. <laughs> Run out of the water, boy. A lot of these little cutout spots, like they've cleared it for just one vehicle. Yep, yep. I think there's a lot of overlanders that hit this route here because it runs along this river for a long ways. This is it, man. This is ideal. This is the road, the camp, the the the, the kind of atmosphere it creates when you're down here. This is what you dream of, like in camping. I think. Yeah, it's sweet. And that sweet. dialogue that I just said is what you kind of dream of when you're making a video. That's what I dream of. A lot of great things, yeah. Give me some uh, sticks, guys, and a little fire. That's a nice rig, yeah. Get her done. Little sticks make a hot fire, but they just don't last long. We just stopped for lunch and now we are continuing on the trail. We are not crossing this beautiful creek going the other way. Hopefully it's just as good. Kill it, did it? It's running, just won't go anywhere. Now, we have to use well range to get it out of here, maybe, but it's like it's got just no throttle. Maybe it went into a little limp mode. Got your lights on the dash? No, uh, lights aren't on, but I'm going to turn it off and on here in just a second. Yeah, I would have 
see what you would think it would shut the motor off. Well, that would have run crappy if it was hydrogen. Yeah. Let's see, let's plug it. Hold on, stop. It's, your, it's electrical. Your starter's hung out. You hear it? I hooked your battery up. I don't out. have any tools. Uh, Can you get off of that? Can you smell that starter? Some electrical got wet. Starter protection mode lit up on the dash. Oh, well, that's probably good. <laughs> but that tells me the engine's locked up because the starter can't turn it. I hear it trying to fucking catch on the fire. <laughs> yeah, this can't. You guys get out of there. It's full of water. It's your head. And the engine, it sucked it in, oh, blew the damn thing up. Luckily, I can get it to Chrysler and they can get me a new one for probably $10,000. There you go. I mean, I know it's a little more work, but I almost wonder if we ought to pull that area and take off a little further back and just make sure we pour if there is anything in there before you. got a little bit of water in it, but I, mean, I wouldn't say that's a lot. But I don't know what it's about. Well, it wouldn't be sitting there, though, is the problem. It would be sucked on down through. I ain't going to get down underneath where it's That's what I was saying. No water. You can get to it and run around now the way it's sitting. Well, he's just got a cheap little bumper I got it. I'm like, careful, bumper. I'll drive. Got some people on the road up here. Well, your day just got worse. No. There's like five trees on the road up there. Super. Yeah. Big trees? Oh yeah. Are they cut out of the road at all? Oh no. No, somebody, I mean, somebody worked on that one and the next one and they got to 
a big wad of them. There ain't no cutting on that. It's like bulldozer level. Oh, shit. So we got to go back the way we came. Yeah, it's it's a dead end. <laughs> well, what's, what's the closest normal road we can get out and park his gladiator? You know what I mean? Snowball. How far is that from here? Uh, I guess you came from the other way then. Yeah. Um, four miles. It's it's a really steep hill coming out. Yeah. So, uh, I'll have her in low lock. <laughs> yeah. Is there any way we can get him turned around up in here? And... No. I mean, right right back there is the only turn around. Okay. You just passed it. Well, I guess we'll see if we can get him going backwards. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling me, man. Luckily, it's downhill, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, there's huge trees over the road up here. Are they winchable or no? No, no, they're they're gigantic. Muscle them around. Yeah. Gotta pull it off that nipple. Nope. You guys, remember what I said about your biggest memory would be that camp when it was cold? It's Never not mind. Be <laughs> uh, this is gonna be it. This will be a ten thousand uh, dollar camping trip instead. I hope there's something else. I didn't do one. I don't think you got anything to worry about. Alright. Should we video this? <laughs> I don't want to make anybody go back. Oh, that you can write? No, you can't. Yeah, I'll, I can film off the window. Alright, you guys ready for a motorboat ride? <laughs> Trying to pick that tension back up. If we lose the rope here in the in the thing, I don't have to get out to get it. All right, here we go. And my trans temp's dropping. <laughs> uh, nature's cooling. Is that the way we need to go? No, not yet. For the next three hours, we did everything fun to do in Marshall, Arkansas. We ate pizza, hung out at the grocery store, and watched movies in the Jeep. What are you thinking? It's good. Oh, we're hung up on something. Is that your belly hung up? 
I think we can hook down low, we'll just pull you from the valley and then it, it, will, pull, it will pull down on the, on the top so much. Got any, got any if no. Yeah, I'm if your brake's stuck down. Hold on, hold on. I'll do it while you're in there and make sure, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and run it out. Ready? Yeah, give it a shot. Looks like it's getting clear this time. 